Jay Grazio from Shooting Illustrated here, and this is iCarry. Today we have a Ruger 1911 in a Mission First Tactical Holster riding on a Galco dress belt. Rounding out the gear is a Steel Will 1552 Gecko folding knife, a Surefire E1B backup flashlight, and a Galco double mag carrier with Wilson Combat magazines. Let's take a closer look at this gear. For the firearm, we have Ruger's SR1911 AS, Ruger's line of 1911 style pistols was rolled out in 2011 for the 100th anniversary of John Moses Browning's fabled creation. This particular model was released last year designed as a target worthy variant that contains G10 stocks, Bomar style sights, ambidextrous safety and a series 70 design. Often we hear 1911 style pistols described as series 70 or series 80 and the difference mainly boils down to the safety mechanism. Series 80 1911s have a trigger actuated firing pin block, meaning that, analogous to a Glock, the hammer will not fall unless the trigger is pulled. Series 70 1911s do not have this block and maintain a smoother trigger pull as a result. The SR 1911 AS has a stainless finish, weighs 39 ounces, and is 8.7 inches long. The AS series can also be had in 10mm for those looking for a little more power. Mission First Tacticals outside the waistband. Made from Bolteron, Mission First Tactical's line of holsters was launched last year to an ever-increasing field of options. These holsters are handcrafted. I had the pleasure of visiting the factory earlier this year, and in fact had a hand in making this particular holster, and each unit is tested for fit. Standard black options are currently available, while the prints will be rolled out later this year. Uh, different options will incur different costs. The belt, Galco SB1 dress belt. Super rigid polymer back belts don't have to be bulky and unattractive. That was Galco's premise when they rolled out the SB1 dress series earlier this year. With a 1.25 inch width and three finish options, the SB1 allows you to carry your gear in style without sacrificing support and rigidity. Flashlight, Surefire E1B backup. Surefire's new backup flashlight puts 400 lumens literally in the palm of your hand. Runtime on the single CR123A battery is 1.25 hours on the high setting and 50 hours on the low setting, which has a five lumen output. The backup weighs 2.95 ounces and is 3.87 inches long. Knife, Steel Will Gecko Mini 1552. The Gecko series from Steel Will incorporates micarta scales, single hand opening via a thumb stud on either side of the blade, pocket clip with ambidextrous possibility, and a simple lock back mechanism for keeping it open. The blade is 3.5 inches long, and the gecko measures 7.87 inches open. The weight is 4.76 ounces. Other finishes and handle options are available in the gecko line. Magazine carrier, the Galco DMC double mag carrier. Premium steer hide construction and adjustable tension make Galco's DMC a must have piece of gear. The one way snaps can accommodate up to a 1.75 inch bell, and the DMC comes in three finish options tan, brown, or black. Spare magazines, we have Wilson Combat's 47D. When it comes to certain firearms like the 1911, magazine options are plentiful and reliability is, well, varied. Options like Wilson Combat's 47D, however, are a safe bet when it comes to keeping your 1911 well fed. With full size or compact magazines available, there's a Wilson available for your 1911. For more information on this setup or any other concealed carry setup, please see shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more in the iCarry series.